I have played this game for 17 years, started my journey in 2005 and in 2013 turned to this version of RuneScape. Throughout the years I can safely say I have done every piece of content in this game, whether it's related to scaling, PVM, PvP, quest clip clues, you name it. But there is one challenge I have still yet to conquer, and that is arguably the hardest one in this game, getting the Infernal Cape. But I have a small, teeny tiny problem. You see, I like to give all my bank away because money doesn't motivate me as much as good content does. And so it happened that I hosted one of the most banger drop parties during the 26th of December where close to 2000 people participated. And in total, with your help, we gave away over 1.5 billion GP. And inside that number was my entire bank value. So now my bank is 0 GP. But where others see small PP numbers, I see opportunities. And what better way to conquer the hardest challenge in old school RuneScape than to start from the beginning. And this is what this series is all about. My name is Kribus and this is Zero GP to Infernal Cape. Let's do this. So, we have a bit of a pickle here. My bank is... Zero GP. Well, okay, I have some basic tools and untradeables. I'm just not willing to give up. But for the most part, I have nothing. So it's time to make some money because boy does Infernal Cape require a lot of GP to get. Now, yes, technically I could just AFK a single boss for the entire month and call it a day. But that's no fun. So instead, I'm gonna try to go through the almost every boss and PVM content in this game. Which there are currently over 50 different variations. I can't borrow items. I can't can't buy bonds to fund this series, all me. And yes, I could force you to read through 7 paragraphs of rules about what restrictions this series has, but nobody has time to remember that, especially me. So I'm gonna make only one rule for this series, 2 hours or 10 KC. That's it. That's how long I can stay at one moneymaker or boss. So for instance, currently I'm heading to Corrupt the Gauntlet and I'll probably be there for 2 hours. If I get lucky, I get lucky. If not, we move to the next moneymaker until 11th of January arrives. Now you're probably gonna see this video on the 11th of January, so this is perfect for you. There is another exception. You see, today a new boss arrived and we've been trying for PVM content for almost half a year. The last one was released in summer and right now it's January. So the only exception for the 2 hour and 10 KC rule is this boss coming to us on the 11th of January and I will go hard on this one. I will do 12 hour streams for this boss so after you're done with this video come watch me on twitch.tv creepers I'm probably live right now. With that being said let's get the infernal cape. You know what the funny part is? I have never even attempted Infernal Cape. So even if some through sheer miracle I managed to get my bank to 300 million GP, which is a big question mark itself, I still need to learn it from zero. And I actually on purpose have decided to not watch any guides and try to learn it myself to get the full experience. But none of that matters if we don't get the gear. So let's get started. Here is our first loot of the series and it is... Okay, I mean, I just increased my bank value about a gazillion times and yes, that is a number. Don't argue with me. So we're good. Let's go again. Chest number two is... Oh, that's actually pretty good. Okay, that's good, isn't it? Yeah, it's like 250k including crystal shards. Hey, we're already making bank. KC number three is... Okay, back in we go. I don't want to talk about it. I don't want to talk about it. Chest number four. Ooh, elite clue. Okay, yes, we're going to go complete that after I'm done with this. Number five. Nothing. Number six. Nothing. Number seven. Nothing. And also 300 KC. Yay. Number, okay, okay, let's just open the rest up real fast. This one is also nothing. Nothing. And this is the last chest before two hours is up. Now granted, I think I went like 40 seconds over the time limit. But I promise if you don't tell, I won't either. Let's see what the last chest is. Just good old regular loot. Okay, how much did I make in two hours from zero GP? And the price comes down to 1.5 million GP 
And give me a second, let me check what the price for crystal shards is for me. Pira pack. Okay, Wiki says I can get around 10k GP from every shard at the moment. So that's also extra 700k on top of that. Which means my bank value is now around 2.2 million GP in the first two hours. Plus the elite glue that I'm gonna go complete now. That's a good start. That is a good start. That will give me enough to buy my first PVM supplies, which is exactly what I need. If I'm correct, that should be the last step for the elite clue. And the gasket is... Oh, okay, okay. Got the clip, got the clip. Nobody has to see this. So, this is how my bank looks now. I bought some barrels clothes because I might get some use out of them later on. And I bought some minor supplies to start off as well. I have a plan and that involves buying a trident from TE. And that plan is to spawn a barrels items in the next hour or so. I know some barrels items are currently like 5 million GP each. So if I can spawn at least one of those, it would be a massive start to the series. But first, there is an issue to be solved. I want to use my elite void I stored away in my house, but I feel so dirty just pulling it out and putting it to use. So I found the middle ground. I'm gonna destroy it and actually pay money to get it fixed. And how that works is if someone in PvP words sends you straight to Lumbi, you will have to spend money to fix that item. So let me take it out of my POH and let's give someone free money. I found this random guy in Australian PvP world and is about to be very rich. There we go. And now if I use the elite void on bed. Oh, wait, 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 wait. This should cost me 250k to fix all pieces. Perfect. See, I think that's a fair middle ground. I don't have to do 20 hours of pest control, but I also just can't grab this gear out of my BOH and use it. So, I'm gonna do 10 battles runs in the next hour and see how it goes. I don't wanna spend a lot of time here because I know in long term there are other BBM contents that benefit me more. But maybe I can spawn one item which will help me boost the account. Okay, chest number one is... Oh, okay, okay. Sure, sure. See, that's exactly what I'm talking about. Right on the spot. Okay, so... Should I just go next moneymaker now? Nah, 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 nah. You know what? I have to go back to back. That is perfect start though. That is a perfect start. Chest number two. Oh, no back to back. Nothing. 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 Here is a nifty little trick for you. There is a ladder between me and Verax, so he can't attack me. This is Pro Dips with Grievous. Stay tuned until the end of this video to find out more. And while you're here, make sure you like the video so I feel validated. I love you. Mwah. Nothing. Okay, Jax, now you're just trolling me. All six brothers, good potential, 4k coins. <sighs> Nothing. And the last chest is... Okay, I think I cursed myself with the first one, but uh, let's see what the all the loot is in one hour of Paris runs. And that brought me in total 920k. That's not bad. That's honestly something I expected, so I'll take it. Next up, I want to buy a blowpipe, but I just quite don't have the money yet. So I have one more moneymaker and then we can start doing actual PVM. And that is Salcano. This place dumps out gold. Literally, no joke. I'm here with the room pickaxe because, you know, I I'm bored. And hopefully that changes in the next two hours. I'll see you then. One hour later. Okay, okay, okay. Again, I don't want to talk about it. I really don't want to talk about it. And I guess that signifies the first hour completed as well, because this is supposed to be my last run in this hour. But here I am in Lumbi. Let me go pick up my loot and then we do price check. One hour of Sarkano comes up to 920k plus 430 from Crystal Shards. If my math is correct, that is around 1.3 million GP in one hour. Hey, I'll take that. One more hour to go and then I can buy a blowpipe, maybe? We'll see. This is it. The last KC before two hours is up and I freaking love this place. This is so chill and fun to do. And it gives you so much GP. It, it is, it's, it's insane. It's insane. That's all I'm going to say. Okay, let's see how much we made in the last two hours. And it comes down to 1.8 million GP from the loot and another 950 from crystal shards which comes up to 2.7 million GP. That is really freaking amazing. That is so good. And that's also exactly the amount I need to get a blowpipe. Let me go sell everything and 
then we buy a blowpipe. Okay, I have a plan. Don't pay attention to any of this. I previously had a plan as well and that didn't work out. I'm gonna liquidate my entire bank and start doing big boy bosses now. And I was thinking maybe try out Saradomin God Wars because if I can spoon Sarah Hilt or Arma Crossbow, that literally makes my bank go up by 10 times. I'm gonna get the blowpipe, use Rune Crossbow and going down. This is 10 minutes later. I made everything look better and this is the gear I'm rocking. It's probably not the most optimal, but it's fine. I also spent like 15 minutes getting a few ecumenical keys. So we'll take that off the total two hours and let's see how this goes. Okay, I'm about to get the first KC and this is a lot harder than I thought it would be. Turns out Rune Crossbow isn't very accurate here. I don't know if I plan to stay here, we'll see. But first, I'm gonna spoon a drop on 1kc and it is... Uh, okay, okay, yeah. Sara God Wars didn't work out, but I have another plan. I'm gonna go do Demonic Gorillas because it's the same principle. If I get spooned once, I literally quadruple my bank and Demonic Gorillas is much more doable with my current gear. So let me set up and see what we get. I don't have money for a pistol whip, so I have to use this stupid weapon. Don't pay attention, but here goes two hours of demonic gorillas. Let's do this. I have an arc light. Of course I have that. Why? Oh my God. Why didn't I use that? Okay, whatever, whatever. Oh God. Okay, that, that scared me. I thought it was a drop. Oh my God. You can't do me like that, Jagex. That's dirty. Jagex. Fix your servers, man. How is anyone supposed to play with this lag? Imagine if I was a hardcore Iron Man right now. I would be fuming. This is, oh, this is ridiculous. Ah, uh, ah, uh, yes. Oh, yes. Please. Let's go. Oh, that is so good. Look at that purple bit. Look at it. Just look at it, man. What a spool. I was just about to go sleep as well. I've been doing this for like 90 minutes. This challenge was going to be over very soon. And I actually spooned it. Oh, exactly what I needed to start the series. So good. This is so good. Okay, I've calmed down. I got the C9 crystal in 61 KC. That's absolutely bonkers. I'm so happy I spooned this. Let me go sell everything I have and let's see how much we made from zero GP in this episode. This is my bank at the end of this video. Today I did 10 hours of content around RuneScape and we end the day with 19 million GP starting from zero. This is absolutely perfect start to the series. I couldn't ask for anything better. We have 90 million GP out of the 300 we need and this sets up perfectly for what's gonna happen tomorrow. A new boss is coming out and I can't wait to do it. If you enjoyed this video, make sure you like and subscribe. It just means the world to me. And if you want to see me do the new boss tomorrow live, I stream everything on twitch.tv. But for now, I love you all. Bye. Mm.